That's not real Horus, it's fraud. Willy, ugh. Okay. I did it! <laughs> okay, I understand. I'm guessing that's the, the, the angle of trajectory. From everybody, it's really embarrassing. Oh god, but yeah. Miss you a little bit, that's okay. Alright, pal. Got him. Yeah. 69. Do I have another shot? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, the fat bloke is sad. <laughs> That's funny. I walked up to Sim and the Victor, but I wasn't sure what they were talking about. Yeah, said Sim, totally filled the basement. She's got three old garages as well. All full, stuff everywhere. I mean, it obviously hit me hard when... Alice said she was popping inside. Let me know if you need any more help. If you really want to help, do me and yourself a favor. Stop collecting the bicycles and everything else. You've got to let go. I think Alice made the decision right then and there. As she just turned to me and said, It's all yours. <gasps> it's all ours. All of her junk! She was a hoarder! Finally letting it all go! Yeah! Come to me, baby! Woo! Hell yeah! The last thing I found was a small photo album. Aww. Oh. I decided I would leave it here. After I had cleaned their basement, Alice and Sim got back in the van with everyone else. So I caught the train back to the house, which I suppose now really was our family's home. Although I would have loved to have stayed in Alice's picturesque town, it was time to get back on the train and continue my quest. Mr. Sultan was driving, but his eyes were pink. He was lit. He shouldn't be driving. Chat, don't drive when you're lit, please. Thank you. <laughs> Dive! Oh my god. Oh yeah, we don't have uh, health any or uh, air anymore, so we can just stay on here as long as we want. That's right. Tell me about, Tell me about it. it. It's just pink eye? Oh, okay. Good, good, good. That's not so bad. I drive better half lit. I mean, as long as you're safe and you know what's actually going on, I suppose. <gasps> Boy! I can't control all you peoples. But I can offer advice. Even though my advice is generally considered a little ignorant. 
generally. We've been doing a lot of PSAs lately. I've just been on this kick of trying to make sure that I've been doing okay with my shit. And because I've been so focused on my shit, I guess I'm caring about your guys' shit, if that makes sense. Because I normally don't focus on my shit, but I've been focusing on my shit because my freaking therapist was like, hey, your shit is important too, man. I'm like, okay. Dude, we got so many balls. Aw, oh, I'm glad to hear Naomi. Okay. I love the water. It looks really pretty out here. And now we're free. Hey, Rachel! Hey, Monica! Hey, uh, Monica! Hey, uh, Rachel! Seinfeld! Ah! Now then, said the dirty old man, let's see what you've got. There's nothing of value here. Damn it. Go on then, said the young <laughs> That's always man, so disappointing hearing that. <laughs> God, the first time you go to a pawn shop, you, you're like, oh man, I'm gonna finally make some real money on all this junk. Here you go. And then he looks at you and just says, there's nothing of value here. I'm like, oh fuck. Well, that's embarrassing. Okay, bye. Nukes are worthless. I mean, I guess they are if you don't have the means of dealing or uh, using them. Oh my god. 2K. It's in the game. Literally, it's right there. The number didn't even fit the screen. Hey. They didn't expect such a hardcore gamer, I understand. Come here, part. All junk cleared. You guys wanna do this? It's been a while since we cleaned any dishes. I really love the face of the one on the bottom right. She just looks really happy about her job. And the one on the bot uh, the top left is Brock's mom, of course. And the lady in the bottom left looks like she's up to no good. Look at an A. No. Later, ladies. Y'all have a good day. <laughs> this is how I walk when I'm on the ground. All right. Okie dokers, my duder. God, he's so creepy. Before I leave. Okay, so that does murder. It doesn't feel good to get murdered on. And this will also murder, yes? Yes. Don't mind the door. 
thank you. All right, well, let's uh, head back to. Mind the doors. Hmm. The trade is now departing. Mainton? Oh, we're going big city first. Okay. Look, oh, Mainton. But we're going that way. Ah, whatever. Is that Thomas? Thomas is a tank engineer. Hmm. I don't believe I want to be here. I'm pretty sure I don't. I messed with big city as big titty. Sounds like a nice place to go. Thanks, Keith Sinister, and Jay Chris, and Finchroll Hammeran. Mainton was the next Hello, crap, you're doing well, you I two, could dude. Get back to the mainland and miss the Siltons from here. Okay. Also, Torotu, and Strawberry Dreamer, and Awesome Chari, and Pommy Puree. I got it. Thank you, guys. I believe this will still be the same as the other place where I'll just die. Okay. Can I get on top of this roof? Oh. Okay. I'm coming, Mr. Sultan. I'm coming. I wonder. Can I buy anything else? There's another shield slot. Oh. Give me it. An additional shield orb slot. Very useful. That will be 50,000. What about average titty? Average titty is also valid. Average titty, small titty, round titty, square titty, no titty, uh, too much titty. It's all valid. Thank you, Vera Titty. Who sounds like Vera Titty? Thank you. You're sweet. Bye. Torpedo titty? Dude, I'm actually not Restocking opposed to torpedo orbs. titty. Very wise, sir. I think Torpedo Titty is surprisingly a pretty uh, efficient titty. Void Titty? That'd be dope. What about Hypercube Titties? I mean, I haven't seen one. I, I, one day I hope so, and then I'll let you know. All Titties Good Titty? Even Man Titty Good Titty. I mean, come on. We just gotta respect Titty. I love his little helper face. Do they take my kind here yet? Okay. Triangle City? Oh, nice. I'm Nico Opportunist when it comes to titties. Dude, same here, man. I made my way back out to the mainland. I'm guessing I gotta head all the way back then. Oh God! All right, apparently shouldn't do that again. Respect all booties? Also respect all booties. Anyone who doesn't respect all booties doesn't know that they're doing it wrong. Probably not. I took the fisherman's boat to the old. As a fellow who got rid of their titties, I would believe, uh, I believe I know what my best asset is. It's an ass. You know? I respect that. I have always said, a butt is a butt is a butt. I've never said that. But, I'm glad you understand. Thank you, Melania. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Meliana? Meliana thing? Mel Meliana? Meliana? I, I, one of those is right. Uh, hey, Z, I remember watching when I was 16. I'm a grown woman now, and it feels weird to hear your voice again. Good weird. Have a great day. Aw, shizzle. Hopefully your grown-ass womanness is having a grown-ass good time. Take him. Easy. Dude. I thought I was waterproof. I am very not sure if you're allowed to do that. Oh, 
Oh man. Wait a second. I just realized something. That's what I had to do. Okay. And what was this room? Thy's life. Damn. Yeah. That is too. There's so many things that are just good. It's really hard to just pick one thing, all right? How about just the human body, all right? Are we into that? Are you guys human bodyists too? Chubby tummies? All right, chubby tummies are really hot, actually. I am a sucker for a bit of thick. I, got, I gotta be real with you here. Feet, though I'm not in defeat. God damn it. <laughs> Ow! Thank you, Toxic Kitty, for your five gift subs. Thank you very much. Hope you all that got a gift sub enjoy your emotes, guys. I'm not a toe sucker! What? Jesus! It's okay, you don't have to hide it. I if alright. First off, mother fricker. I am very open with my kinks, and I feel that I would tell you if I was into the foot stuff, all right? I feel like I would give you that common courtesy. Hmm, not that way, I guess. Like being a furry? I'm not. Yo, it was on fire! From downtown! Fuck. From downtown! Yes. Tells the kink you're into right now. Ow. Alright. Confidence. Dude, confidence is so hot. People who don't understand that, oh, geez. All right, here's the thing. You can be as average looking as you ever want to be, all right? But if you're confident and not a dick, but just confident, it's so hot. Confidence is hot, arrogance is bullshit. Yes, exactly. I remember this. I hate this. Why am I back in here? I fucked up. I'm gonna call that a kink though. I think confidence is a kink considering how uh, not status quo it is these days. dangerous. I understand that. I'm not confident all because I hate myself. Well, here's the thing, dog. I want, I want to help you motherfuckers out. All right. Here's a thought. Okay. For those who don't have confidence, do you not have confidence? because you see all of your faults and flaws and you're like, oh God, no one would ever fucking want this. Oh God, I can't handle it. No, everyone thinks I'm probably super ugly and shit. That's how everyone when got feels. back to the house, it was quite late. The most attractive people in the world feel that way, chat. Everyone feels like that. So everyone was going to bed. For once Alice wasn't smoking her smelly tobacco, and was actually the first one asleep. No they don't. If they don't, then they're probably full of themselves and not worth my attention in the first place. And so, I actually felt quite peaceful, as I made myself comfortable for the night. Hello Japan, this is Nighthawk calling, oh, right. said Heather. Japan got Are fucked up last time. Me? Over. 
for days. We'd all taken it in turns trying to contact Dr. Hero, but the longer it went on the less hopeful we were. Any luck? asked Sim. No nothing, said Heather. I'm just worried they're all dead. I didn't like having that image in my mind. If there's one thing I'd learnt, it was that death is really sad. Mm. Shit. Is Smealy Tobacco legal where you are? No, Smealy Tobacco is not legal where I am. Okay, chat, we're going up top. We gotta see about dealing with that problem. Self-deprecation is not funny or cool. Dude, I'm on the same boat. As long as, like... Like, there's a limit when it comes to, like... The kind of shit that I feel that people put on their, their plate. I fucking love that hedgehog. Uh, but, like... You can be self-deprecating, and you can, like, make, you know, a joke here and there, and it'd be funny. But always doing it, that's the problem. When you're doing it so much, that's the only thing you got going for yourself. Oh my god, I have a lot of boys. Then that's, that's not good. No one is gonna want, you're like, that's a self-fulfilling prophecy then. If you, you're downplaying yourself so much, then... Okay, that's what people are gonna expect then. At all, all, all times. Is if that's always what you say it's like. You know? I think... I think this is the right way. Let's assume that we're in a, a good spot. Chad, it's very loud here. issues with a significant other um did they do anything to warrant the trust issues or is it unfounded and it's just you trying to get over your own stuff i gotta do a chat gonna do it communication is key it really is you know what the, the all right the, the biggest thing that's gonna fuck up a relationship is lying to your significant other because you think it's not gonna hurt their feelings but you're gonna do something anyway like say you're gonna hang out with a friend they don't like or something like that but you know you know it's not a bad thing you know it's not a bad thing to hang out with a friend but you're gonna lie about hanging out with that friend? If you're already lying about that, that's not good. So, you need to get on a basis where you can just be honest with each other about shit. 
And if you can be honest with each other about shit, then maybe it's not right. Oh, why haven't I just done it like this? God damn it, mate. I could have just done it like that the whole time. Communication is the best. It is the best. Alright. This is how we do it, and we activate the boys. Didn't even need the boys. Alright, so we've somehow come all the way over here. Big mistake. Bye. Oh, bye boy. Sorry. Hmm. Things need to be uh, discussed. If you feel like there, if you feel like there's an issue with trusting each other, talk about it and see where the problem is coming from. A lot of things can be solved uh, or start towards a solution from a simple conversation. Right? There's a lot of times where you want to have a conversation and they'll just, you know, sometimes people, their immediate re response is when you ask them a problem, if there, there is a problem, they go, no, it's nothing. There's no problem. That's not healthy. Like, I get that you maybe you just don't want to talk about it right now, but if there is actually a problem, actually talk about it. Just fucking do it. You're not going to get anything done if you just say, no, there's no problem. And then you just bottle it up or something. Is that a healthy relationship I hear? No? Okay. Also, if I'm speaking any sense of, uh, sense, and you are the kind of person who is the kind of person I'm talking about, it's not your fault. But, think about it sometime. You might not realize it, but... You are potentially hurting the, the person you're with just because they feel like you can't talk to them. And that's a bit of a confidence killer, you know? I'm dead. Wait, I'm not dead! I'm alive! It's not you, it's me? Ugh. I don't know, man. Oh god! This seemed quite valuable. I made it! If you need a moment to gather your thoughts to do that, but never leave things without communicating about it, uh, it's kind of like when they say, don't go to bed angry. Exactly. Like, really, whatever the problem is, talking about it is way better than ignoring it. Whatever it is. Hello, big ball. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus! Hello? I can't stop! Let me down! Hello? <laughs> you just ate all my points up! Okay. <laughs> well, take two interactive. Let's go.